have something to point out, which I don't think has been pointed out in quite the way that I'm going to point it out. And I've had enough of Black Lives Matter, and I'm ready to unload. You're gonna love this one, Mona. Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation. We have on one side of America police, and the other side, Black Lives Matter. Now, this graphic, I saw this yesterday. 43 cops have been killed in 2020. Now, nobody, I've heard anybody say this before. Now, we're a big country. I don't know how many police officers are. A million, I guess. Hundreds of thousands of police officers in this country. Who in the hell in this country thinks that somewhere out there, there is not going to be an accidental shooting or a bad cop and you're going to have a white person, black person, Chinese person, any kind of person that a police officer is going to wrongfully happen to shoot. Really? Just like I said in that video, like doctors screw up 250,000 people die a year to legal malpractice. And you don't think, unfortunately, it's going to happen. But you know what it is? It's usually an accident. You know what you cannot talk about? 43 cops shot and killed in 2020. How many of these were an accident? These intend to kill. Where is the outrage? Where are, where are, perfect, this is how big a corporate slaves they are. I think one Pittsburgh Steeler offensive lineman did this. Where are pro athletes, Joey, but why can't a pro athlete say, hey, you know what? I'm taking up the cause of cops shot and killed in the line of duty, and that's going to be my cause. I wonder what all the major sports teams leagues would do if they started doing that. Nobody talks about that. Only police officers' wrongful shooting of a black person matters. Really? Because we make up more of the population, more whites get shot accidentally by cops than blacks. It's unbelievable. Nobody talks about that. I got more. I'm just getting started. I hate when I drop my props. Homicides 52% up in Chicago. 52%. The Minneapolis City Council is saying, we can understand why there's so much violence. What? There's so much violence. New York City, homicides, crime way up. Oh, logical. Is that not logical? Buffalo school teaching students to question nuclear family as part of the Black Lives Matter integrated curriculum. Tucker Carlson did something like that last night. Are you kidding me? The backbone of this country? Family? Family! Black Lives Matter, baby. Let's blow that up. Trained Marxist Black Lives Matter co-founder is being funded by a group linked to the Chinese Communist Party. Google Alicia Garza. It's unbelievable. Antifa, Black Lives Matter, Marxist. This is an anti-American, communist-backed, messed up organization. We didn't need Black Lives Matter for us to say, yep, that cop shouldn't have uh, stayed on George Floyd. We don't need Black Lives Matter to tell us that. This is not about justice. It's about political control. And it is blowing up on them. 
Hallelujah. I freaking love it. Trump is going to win in a landslide. And this is the issue. It's actually such a powerful issue. It's trumping, pun intended, the coronavirus. This is it. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. You have a great day.